Hey you guys, it's your girl Jess Behave and I am back with another video and today you guys we have a special special gift and um, this is from Glitter Bells and y'all I know I've been missing and stuff like that it's because I've been really really busy but you know I just gotta come through with some powders and let y'all know like you know um, the new grabs that I got so um I'm sorry y'all my throat is so dry but I'm gonna basically swatch what I got from Glitter Bills. And this is just part one because the rest of my order has not been delivered yet. So this was the first thing that was delivered. So I decided to go with this and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, how everything looks. So this is basically the package that it came in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it. And you guys, the packaging um, just came like this. It wasn't nothing like crazy or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys um, everything and swatch it for you guys so that you guys can see what's really going on with the glitter bells. And I'm really, really, really excited about this swatch, you guys. So yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and use these tips um, because they're way too big um, for fingers. And yeah, your girl don't got time for that. So I'm just gonna use this to swatch the colors. So the first color that we're gonna go with is the color Annabelle. And I don't wanna flip it over, y'all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, open it and I'll write the name of it on the side. But this is the color Annabelle and as you guys can see, it's freaking gorgeous. So um, the brush that I decide, um, decided that I'm gonna use for this swatch is gonna be my LMP brush by CND. And the reason why is because it's really small and I feel like with these powders, a little bit goes a really long way and I'm gonna show you so I'm just gonna go on top of the nail with it. So I'm just gonna use a really small bead of it. And the instructions also let you know that you should um, encapsulate these with clear. So that enough should let you know that, you know, a little bit of it is gonna go a long way. So as you guys can see, I just took like a little dab, like I barely put the tip of the brush in and it gave me a nice amount of glitter. So you wanna work really, really, really light with this. You do not wanna pick up a humongous bead because you can definitely spread this product out. Like, look at that, off of just that small amount. So that's what I really love about these um, powders. A small amount really goes a really, really long way. And all you gotta do is like dip your brush back into the monomer and um, wet your brush again and you can definitely spread it out and get um, the glitter to where you need it to go. I like that it doesn't dry fast, like super duper fast where it's really hard and hard to move around. Um, you can definitely work with this and move it around. So as y'all see, I'm just working with it and I just picked this up because this is just a practice nail, it's not that deep. But you guys see, I'm literally just spreading it around. So, I, and excuse my nails, you guys, I'm, I'm gonna soak them off. So that's why they look like that, I just cut them down. We're about to do a soak off, so. Just chill, okay? So I'm just going in and picking up like little baby, like literally anything that just comes on the tip of my brush. I don't want to pick up too much. And then you can definitely go in and fill in the blanks or wherever you feel needs some more. You can just fill in those spots. Or if you just want to have like a full like glittered out nail, you want it to be jam packed, you can also do this. But I'm just saying like if you want to just use like a small amount, you definitely can. And these powders, I believe, I don't remember the price. I think I paid around, um, they were in like euros. So I don't really know the conversion. So I'm gonna like link it or like, you know, put it um, on the screen so that you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about and as you guys can see y'all this is so gorgeous like I'm not even done I'm not even doing like a specific design I'm just adding a little bit at a time and you guys can clearly see that this powder is amazing like it's so freaking gorgeous 
this glitter mix and y'all know I love chunky glitters I just love glitters overall I love 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 them so this powder is like ideal for me and I'm gonna show you guys an example of how small of a bead I'm using so literally I just go in and I just pick literally this much up see that just a little bit let me move this away but you see just a really small amount and then I just go ahead on and place it where I need it to go. And then as y'all can see, I filled in what I felt needed to be filled in. And now um, I'm gonna just sit this down for a little bit and move on to the next color. After that, we're gonna cap it. And then we're gonna um, go ahead and see how it looks with polish and everything. But y'all, Tell me this is not beautiful. And this color is the color Annabelle. Well, this powder is Annabelle. And um, you get one ounce. And I feel like it's really worth it. Honestly, I can't even complain. This is gorgeous. Like, I can't take it. Like, it's really like driving me crazy. It's beautiful. So, um, we're going to go ahead and move on. All right. So, the next color... Um, <clears throat> is the color Funtasia and um, this color gives me like um, like an under the sea type of vibe like it gives me like that moonlight sky type of vibe as well and I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you guys how it looks and it has like you know gold flakes in there um, it's more of like a purpley blue glitter and I feel like it'll look nice for like any um, like any like night sky theme or purple theme, blue theme, I decided to get this color. And you guys, they had a very limited amount when I ordered. Um, a lot of the colors and powders weren't available. They were like sold out. So these are what I was able to snatch by luck. So um, I just say get on it, y'all. If y'all want this powder, go get it. If you see it in stock, just cop it. And um, yeah, so um. Like I said, y'all, you do not have to pick up too much. I just go little by little, and then I work my way up with more and more um, powder as I go. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but even in the camera, it's not really showing up. It looks better in person, but with this, I think you just got to get it on there. But as you guys can see, like, I, I'm just like, there's just so much going on with this powder. That is just not my favorite one, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. So... I'm just going to keep adding it on until it looks a little bit better because I don't like how it's looking. But I'm going in really thin with it because, <clears throat> like, I, like I said, um, these powders are, like, really, really, like, chunky. Like, there's something in every single bunch that you pick up, and I don't want it to look, like, you know, just piled on there. But the more I add on, the prettier it gets. But um, I'm going to try to add the rest. Yeah, you guys. So basically, this is one that you have to layer on um, little by little. And you guys, I work really small with it because I don't want to add too much in one section. And then have to keep building with this powder. Um, so I just add a small amount. So probably like two layers. And then, as you guys can see, the more I keep adding on, um, the better it looks. And um, I'm not a fan of thistle and stuff like that, but this is a really beautiful mix. Um, I feel like it'll look good on like, you know, sets that incorporate purple 
um, as well as um, sets that incorporate blues and it'll just look good. Like it's like a royalty nail. Like it's amazing. I think it looks really cute. And I'm actually satisfied with this one. I'm not mad at it. I know that I'm not gonna use it really like often, but I know when I do use it, it's definitely gonna go off. So I'm just putting it against like something dark like my jacket so that you guys can really see what's going on with this. And it has like the gold flakes, um, you know, some mylar in here. It's a really, really, really beautiful powder and it looks amazing in person. Like the camera does not do it justice. It's beautiful. All right, you guys. So the next color is gonna be um, bubblegum flake. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my little, you know, stick right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looks. And like I told y'all, you wanna work with a small amount because baby, this um, powder is very versatile. It's movable and um, you can definitely do what you gotta do with a small amount. And it's, you know, these colors are like exclusive to me. I don't wanna waste my powder, so. I'm going to, you know, use a little bit as I go. If With some things, you have to use a lot to get what you need. But with this, like, y'all, like, you do not have to use too much. Like, it'll end up, like, me messing up your nail in a way. Like, it'll look too piled on. So, um, honestly, you can definitely spread this out. Just work with a real small brush. And they say that you should cap them with clear. So that just goes to show you that you do not have to pile on a bunch of these um, glitter powders. Like you can just use a really thin amount. And if you have to go over it, you know, after the first layer, then do that. But this will cause you like to save your powder. Like you won't waste all your product. Or, you know, use it too much. So... As you guys can see, I'm working with really small beads and I'm just moving the flakes around. And y'all, it's already like giving the girls vibes. Like this is definitely a powder that I'm gonna use. Like, and <clears throat> with these powders, it's just like, bro, like what design? Like I want all my nails to have this on it. <laughs> Like, I would just do a set completely with these. Like, I just love how it looks. I just honestly love this powder. And, y'all, when I tell you this goes off, it goes off. Like, wow. And, like I said before, you guys, the camera is not doing these powders justice. Like, in person, they look amazing. Like, it's just a crazy tint that it has. It has like the, I see orange, and then it goes into like, you know, the nice hot pink. And then it has like a, a purple, like lasered look that goes into it. And I just think this powder is freaking gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I don't know, I wanna put this over, like, you know, y'all yeah, forgot a little bit of hair. I wanna put this like over like black and put it over like, uh, the colors to see what's, what's popping with it, like what's really going on. So I think that I'm gonna swatch um, a couple of these on blacks just so that we can see um, what, how it would look on a black background. So we're gonna do that after this. And as you guys see, I work with a small amount and I move it around, like I move it to where I feel it needs to go. And I haven't even capped these yet, but I know y'all feeling the vibes. Do you see how cute this is? It's so cute. So I'm just gonna go over, and like I said, I just wanna work with really small, small, small beads, picking up a small amount because the glitter is there. You don't have to use a lot or do too much. If I feel anywhere, like if I feel that there's somewhere that's gappy or just looks like it needs to be filled in, like this corner right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into my monomer, really thin bead, and then boom. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, apply that. See there? And we're just gonna fill in whatever looks a little bit like empty, sparse, or just doesn't look like it, it's chunky enough. I just go ahead and with a really small bead and just put in a small amount. And you guys, even with me trying to pick up a small bead, there's still gonna be like a big chunk that gets picked up. So, but as you guys can see, you just move that around, whatever you need to be moved around. Just move it and keep it chucking, sis. I'm gonna put it over to something dark so that you guys can see again. And look at that. So freaking cute. So I can't wait to cap this and then show you guys how it looks. So the next color that we, or the next powder that we're gonna go with is called Seahorse. So um and this one really caught my eye. Like when I seen it, they were almost sold out. So I put this in my cart first. And y'all, when I tell you it was so beautiful to me, I had to get it. So I decided to get this color and this is one of my faves. Well, honestly, I love all of them, to be honest. I love every single powder that I got from um, Glitter Bells. Like y'all, the hype, <laughs> the hype is real, honey. Every set that I've seen with um, Glitter Bells has popped off on something serious. So like I said, you guys, I work with a real small amount and I just spread that out just so that I'm not like, you know, making the nail look too chunky. Like I wanna be able to see everything that the powder has to offer in the nail. Like I don't wanna do too much. Like when you put too much, um glitter on there it just looks chunky and it just looks like a mess so I just put a small amount you guys and I just spread that out because I want to see you know what's in the powder like I want to see what it's giving off and just in case I want to add something to it I have like you know the space to do so so it's called seahorse and y'all it definitely gives me like seahorse vibes like omg you guys this powder is freaking gorgeous like i love it it's so fun like it's like a nice bubbly and whimsical look i love the warmth of it like it's like an ivory color it's not like you know just clear or like just regular iridescent it's just like an ivory iridescent color and um i love it like i really 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 love this one and like I said, you guys, I go on really thin at first. And then if I need to add, you know, some more, I'm just going to go ahead and on with another thin layer on top of what I did primarily. And uh, you can see the clear is spreading. But So with this one, I'm going to add some more because I just feel like it needs more. But come on, y'all. So gorgeous and this is how it looks like next to my jacket now tell me this is not cute y'all i love 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 this powder all right so last but not least um we have the color hot flake all right so we're gonna go ahead and open up the hot flake yeah you guys So I'm gonna do um, sugar and cream next because I've seen like some nice glitter mixes from them as well. And y'all, the thing that people don't get about these glitters is that if you don't have any ideas for nails, these alone will do like 75% of the job for you because when you have like a glitter that you're gonna incorporate into a nail, that already sets the tone for your set. So it's like, why not? This being being like an accent nail, I could do like easily like a coral nail. I could do like a yellow nail and put this because it has like, you see like these like, you know, highlighted, like you see that? You can do like a yellow nail. Um, you can do 
nude, you can do ombre, you can do smile lines with this. You can even do like, you know, um, those negative space, like the dimensional nails. Um, you can do a lot with these types of, having these types of powders. And then your clients, you can also get them to be pro freestyle because if you show them this, they'll be like, okay, just do whatever you want. Because they'll already see, like, you're a creative, like, nail tech. You'll never not have, like, a set to do, like, or you'll never feel bored. Like, that's why I love, 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 like, these type of powders. Because they, like, help me expand my creativity. They aid me in being able to, like, do a unique set. Um, something I've never done before. And I just love creating, like, you know, amazing things. So I just feel like... Glitter Bells is the way to go. And the nail techs that I follow that use Glitter Bells are bomb ass nail techs. And they, like, you know, love Glitter Bells. Like, so I say, get you some Glitter Bells, girl. Especially, like, if you're gonna have glitters and stuff, don't go, like, with the basic, just everyday colors. Like, get you some of those, but get you some of these. Cause this is, like, amazing. It, it's, it's beautiful, y'all. Are you freaking crazy? Are you kidding me? Let me put it over this dark so you can see. Are you out of your mind? Like, let's be real, sis. Let's be real. All right, you guys. So these are how the glitter powders look swatched on a stick. And, you know, I don't want to... miss out on the colors you guys but they look absolutely gorgeous hey guys so these are how they look y'all know i had to try to get up close and personal but these are how they look you guys i'm gonna try to turn the lights down see if you guys can see them better but these are how they look with a black background and you guys, these powders are absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend that you guys get them. I freaking love glitter bells. Like y'all, I'm about to go crazy with the glitter bells. Um, powders overall, because I always see like the beautiful creations that um, some of my favorite YouTubers um, make with the glitter bells um, powders. So I'm definitely gonna go get some more because y'all, the camera does not do these powders justice. And comment down below any ideas that you guys have. I've been recording and everything, you guys. I'm working on uploading everything, so yeah. But be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and link them down below just in case you guys wanna go ahead and get some. And y'all, I just love them so much. I can't wait to, to create with these. And see you guys next time. Bye.